I knew it. Hey guys, it's Chief from the F Word, here to kick off 2018 with some murder. Specifically, this French thriller that I found on Netflix called Le Monte, or The Mantis. Now, The Mantis was a serial killer in Paris about 20 years ago from when this show is set, and the detective is noticing a string of copycat killings. Mantis finds this out, contacts him, says, hey, I can help you, we can catch this person together. He's really not sure why, but he goes along with it because... Fools are getting dismembered, and it's time to clean the streets. He brings in her son, who nobody else except for this detective know that this guy's connected to the Mantis. She changed her name from Jean Caro to Jean Debert, if I remember correctly, to protect her son's identity so he can grow up somewhat normal and not have people look at him as the kid whose mom was a serial killer. And Damien's been... You know, trying to suppress that life. His backstory is pretty interesting. And the stuff that happened with, you know, his dad and his mom, of course. And all the stuff that happened with his mom going before that as well. All of that compiles and you've got this character who really doesn't want to have anything to do with it. But he realizes the only way that these copycat killings can stop. And he's the only person that could help stop this thing. And the detective is pretty much putting all his chips in one bag or in that bag. All the while trying to hide this guy's identity from the rest of the task force that he has. And as anybody else, I mean, Damien's wife doesn't even know about his mom. She thinks she died years ago. He doesn't speak about his mom at all. And so with Damien, the detective, the task force, and the original Mantis, they go on this journey, Silence of the Lamb style, to catch the real copycat. Now, there's a few other killings that happened beforehand, and other people that have contacted the Mantis that look up to her and want her to be proud of them a lot of these guys have mommy issues that they solve to lead them to the main copycat and that's pretty much our show so starting off with the good the lady that plays the mantis i believe her name is carol bouquet she does a really good job at playing this really methodical very quiet manipulating individual um again i've i mentioned silence of the lambs and it's very similar to that i wouldn't go as far near as far as to say that she's even close to a hannibal lecter but they do try to pass her off as such she does have a very creepy stare and a really creepy smile and she is very manipulating and they keep having to go back and forth with her and she only gives them little nuggets as long as she gets something in return the rest of the cast did a pretty decent job the writing in this was done really well there's a lot of pieces to juggle here so the writing was very important and although it got a little bit heavy-handed it wasn't too bad the setting of course being in paris it's beautiful they go into these other little towns too which look really nice as well you've got some settings that one of particular looked like a castle kind of thing it was really cool like a little tower you got this little small really quaint town that he grew up in that they go to so a lot of the set pieces that they go to like are really cool they're really nice they feel very authentic so that was really nice to see I would say some of the negatives would be that it was really heavy-handed at some points, specifically Damien, where you have this relationship with the mom, where as opposed to, again, I'm going to mention Sounds of the Lambs, where you've got a profiler and Hannibal the Cannibal. This is an interesting take on it, having a mom and her son and a guy who's trying to move on with his life and a lady that's trying to fix her relationship with her son while not divulging a lot of truths that we end up finding in the show. But a lot of the times, you get a lot of stares. The guy that plays Damien, I don't know if this was just the what he was given to work with, but he just stares a lot, and he flies off the handle, and he gets super angry. There's nothing really endearing about this guy, and at one point, you're almost thinking what his wife is doing with him, because she is this really open, super, super beautiful woman who went through a marriage, divorced, has her daughter and everything. And and this Damien guy comes across as a really good dad to this girl and a really good husband. But at the same time, you're kind of like, he just snaps all of a sudden and it almost comes out of nowhere sometimes. They wrote him and his wife's interactions in a way where she was supposed to know all this stuff. So he just gets really angry and she's just supposed to understand, which I'm not a big fan of that writing style. And again, it's a very, like, as I mentioned before, it is a bit heavy handed. There's not much joy in this at all. And yes, it is about serial killings, but 
Going back to Silence of the Lambs once again, there was something endearing about the characters in there. There was something very unique about it, something that drew you in, specifically to Hannibal, the way that he was portrayed. He was kind of funny. He was charming in the most creepy way possible. And the characters around them created this world of supporting characters that really lent well to the character of Hannibal, which is, that was the story. The story about it was Hannibal. So this one I felt like, although it was about the Mantis and this person being a copycat killer for the mantis it didn't really feel like a lot of it fit well together it didn't flow very well together a lot of parts were disjointed and the other thing is a lot of the events that happen and the people that we end up meeting got telegraphed really early i'll confess this right now i'm really bad at picking up on a lot of clues early on like i my many people much smarter than i am pick up on these things a lot quicker but in the first episode i noticed a couple things that i was like okay this is where we're going to go. I I almost guarantee it. And I'm just waiting it out until it actually reveals itself. And it reveals itself to be exactly what I thought. So aside from some interesting backstories and some twists that happen, a lot of this is really telegraphed. And I would say almost pretty by the numbers. You're not going to remember the Mantis for anything other than it being a pretty decent show. It's something that you can watch. It's six episodes. It's a mini series, about an hour each episode. Again, there are some interesting characters. There's a lot of interesting elements in this, some really gruesome scenes. Like you might want to fast forward some of these scenes, but it wasn't anything that stands out. And I was really hoping for something like that because again, a lot of the writing was really nice. The way that they wrote some of the characters were really good too. I just wish there was a little bit more to it. Uh, and I wish the mantis had a bigger presence in this and that may not make sense but when you consider the looming presence that Hannibal had in Silence of the Lambs this one didn't have the same effect but I would still recommend taking a look at it if you want something you know a little bit different to watch out of the norm this is again very similar to some themes that you've seen before but it's done in a pretty interesting way you don't need to rush out to see it you know, but it, I still think it's worth giving it a shot. Anyways, guys, that's my quick review of La Mante or The Mantis. Let me know what you think. If you guys have seen it, let me know in the comments below. And once again, I want to thank everybody who's helped us get to 200 subscribers and our views over 10,000. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, we want to keep bringing you stuff that you're going to like. So let us know in the comments below. You can always email us at the F word podcast at gmail.com and just let us know what you guys want us to, to do reviews. We got our quiz show coming up. They're going to be tweaking a little bit more we got more live streaming going on so yeah the more that you guys give us feedback the better we can make the programs for you you can also follow me at the f words g on twitter and make sure you're following entertain facts on instagram to get in on all the new stuff that's coming out as well i'm g have a wonderful new year all the best in 2018 and i am out (laughs) 